that's a good way to do it. Everybody has their own way, you know? Right. Like, I think What's your I, way? I write in front of a computer. I, I sit down and I write. I like I write about subjects and it's a lot of wasted time. Like there's a lot of it that's fucking useless, but I have to find out where the jokes are. Right. So I'll write on a subject and I'll just start expanding on that subject and then I'll come up with one funny thing and then I'll take that and I'll copy it and paste it into a new file. That. Yeah. And then I'll write with that thing that like one paragraph that I think is funny and then I'll expand upon it and then I'll come back to it the next day and I'll smoke some weed and drink a cup of coffee and stare at it some more and that. then I'll write I write like basically an essay and then in that essay I'll find the funny stuff and extract it it's not a efficient process because it doesn't come out looking like stand-up it's like basically I'm farming premises right and I'm, I'm doing it through just time and like forcing myself to sit in front of it and so I do it a lot of it at night which is kind of hard because I'm tired and it's like sometimes I'll like literally see myself like nodding out in front of the computer yeah. while I'm writing but if it's just one fucking line like I have one line in one of my new jokes that came from that and it fucking murders this right. one line that's like a new bit and this one line like defines that bit and it came out of the middle of the night right it was like two o'clock in the morning and I'm just sitting there writing like ah oh. yeah 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 like yeah. oh there it is yeah. there it is that's what I was looking for I'm panning for gold I love and then that I'll find that I'll copy and paste it and then I put them all on my phone so then if you look at my phone I go into like I have a material folder and it's all like stuff that I've written over the last few months that's great and it's like I go over those bits and then I know which ones are in the act right now and then the ones that aren't in the act when I'm trying to add new stuff then I'll take that okay let's talk about this boom and then I'll put that up on the computer and then I'll start writing and then when I want something to be really memorized like the note the little uh, post-it notes or the, the little uh, uh, index cards that's when I write down physically with my my hand because that's what really commits it to memory writing something down commits things to memory right. far better than any other way I think that's true so do yeah. you take a note card up with the new material on it no. or you're just developing you know the beats in the bit. Yeah, I, do, I don't bring notes on stage. Yeah. I, I, I lay out those notes on the coffee table if I'm doing an arena or a, even a theater sometimes I'll do yeah. it. But if I do it at a comedy club, I just have the notes on my phone because you know, it's more casual. But when I do uh, like actual physical writing, we're trying to come up with new ideas, I can type way faster than I can write. Right. And I don't have to look at my fingers. So I could just look at the screen and in the process of writing, like if I'm just sitting there I get into like a trance where I'm only thinking about the ideas right but it's hard because you get distracted you want to surf the web right, you want right, to look right. at YouTube videos right. and you just gotta like make I, I'll like say okay you're not doing jack shit until you have 900 words it's and great after you have 900 words then you can fuck off and right, do whatever you right, want right. or not depending on if you're hot if you got something yeah 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 but you want to keep that I mean but I might get something one out of ten times so it's like nine times it's yeah, a yeah. trudge right but I know that if I do that Ten times, then yeah. I'll have a bit that I didn't have before. Right. But if I don't do it, that bit doesn't exist. Right. That's like the Stephen Pressfield, the guy who wrote the War of Art. He talks about that, like summoning the muse. And then if you are a professional and you sit down and you just do the work, those ideas will come to you. But if you right. don't, if right. you don't sit there and yeah. summon that muse, th they're not coming. And I know that's a weird painful goofy uncomfortable process yeah. to just sit there and not have anything to say it's messy yeah it, the whole thing is messy but yeah that's the way to do it for me yeah. for right. me I also take notes like if, if something hits me during the day that I think is funny even if it's not a joke just a, something peculiar sure I'll write it down in just general notes but then I'll have like topics like jury duty working on this thing on the electric chair now and it's just like use that as a topic it's like I got a couple of jokes that are working there it's like why not keep coming at it keep coming at it until yeah. it's a until it's a solid bit well know? it's the thing that we we're talking about before it's like the process of getting good as a comic It's a long process right. and the more you can do like listening to sets watching sets you know watching other people perform writing the more you put in just right. overall time and hours that's going to manifest itself in, in better performances and better material and better sets. It's just there's no other way to do it. And, like, yeah. you know, when I talk to Shane about his act, like, I'm like, dude, your fucking material's so good right yeah. now. It's so exciting. He goes, it's all I care about. 
He was all it's really great. It. Yeah, but yeah. that's that's why it's so good. It's like he cares so much. It's all he cares about, yeah. which is why it's so hot. Right. And that's the fucking thing, man. It's just how much attention and energy are you putting yeah. into it? Even if you're not going to sit down and write the way that you do, like, and you don't feel like it, maybe you traveled that day, mm -hmm. maybe something else happened. It's like, just just check in on them. Mm -hmm. Like, just yep. check in on the jokes. Yep. Just see how they are. It's like, maybe you have a cup of coffee and just, you're burned out, you mm -hmm. did it, whatever. It's like, maybe just have a cup of coffee and check in. Just commit it to memory. Yeah. So commit it to thought. Get, get, right. get those ideas bouncing around in your head. Right. Yeah. Right. It's, it's a fucking process, man. But, yeah. you know, and that's what I wonder. Like, I wonder if chat GPT is going to bypass that process. People are not going to need that anymore. I mean, hopefully I'm a gone by that time <laughs> i hope to be out of i the, don't know man i hope to be out i don't know if then. we will be i don't know if we will be 